How deep do you think y'all are as a group of safeties? Uh, I would say we're not we're not really like a really big group. We're we're down, but the guys we have, we have a lot, a lot of younger guys there. We've been like working off. I, I consider myself a younger guy as well because I'm new, but we've been we've been working so hard, getting everything down with like us being down in numbers. Uh, just overall performance on there had to be pretty satisfying because it seemed like y'all were in position to make a play pretty often. Yeah. So, yeah, like our coaches, they stress it every day in practice. Your eyes, the most important thing, you put your eyes on your key and read your key, it'll put you in a place to make a play every single time. So that's what we've been doing a lot of, is making sure our eye discipline is good and things like that. And that's things we can control. So every day in practice, we hear it like 100 times. If your eyes on your key, you wouldn't have been here you know, that type of thing. So, like, it definitely disciplined us, and that is, is really important right there. Uh, your interception seemed like you saw it coming from a mile away. <laughs> Take yeah. us through that. Yeah, I, uh, I remember we were in – we were in uh, it was one of my favorite coverages because I have to get over top of, like, number one. So, I was just – I was reading my keys, and I just uh, put myself, like, in a perfect position to, like, make a play. And, like, in my head, I heard Coach Hop's voice – Cause in practice, a little, sometimes I get a little too far outside, and then like I just in my head, I slow played it, I played it patient, I read his release, and it just it took me right to the ball. It's crazy. So like when when we're when we're in practice and we get frustrated because we're getting uh, coached up and stuff like that, these coaches know what they're talking about. Literally, they right before the game, they told me be patient and make the play. Don't don't try to do too much. Just do your job. It will come to you, and it, that's exactly what happened. You came out and made that play the first play of the second half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you kind of itching to get one? I know Xavier already had one. Shan already had one. The turnovers was you just thinking it's your turn. Yeah, I, I just remember uh, we were in this room exactly like right at halftime, and I was talking to uh, Tyler. I was like, man, hey, they got there, man. We gotta go out and get ours. So that first play, I was just like, okay, I got my coverage, and I knew where I had to be, and I slow played it. And once I saw the ball, just made a play. I, I. I and like, I remember smiling. Like as soon as I saw the quarterback release the ball, I knew I was intercepting. I was like, I I just ran and got it, and it was just so much joy. So if there was a picture of you during the play, you'd have a smile as you. I'd probably, I'd probably be smiling from ear to ear because like, once I I remember like coming out of my break in the ball, and I, I had a cast on, and like I remember all week I was punching balls. I, I couldn't really catch them, so like this ball came perfectly. So like I could. Like just like basket it, and man, I was just I was just I was happy. I got up, I ran down the sideline smiling. So, how was your finger? Oh, it's fine. It's just it was like a dislocation. Oh, yeah. I just yeah. It, yeah we I don't know. You guys were there. We, we saw. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it was it was uh it scared me because it's like this is like my first time actually having like a, a injury like this. Everything else has been minor, like a little minor uh, ankle sprain or something. But like I got up and I saw my finger it was like in the whole other direction. So. I didn't know what the, I was. I was scared. I, my first, I was like, my my fingers broke, so I'm running down the sideline and it's popping in and out by itself. So I'm 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 just like, man, I don't know. I can't think. I don't. I'm scared. Ty, uh, Coach McCall, he pops it back in. I run back to practice on my way to run and pop back out. So I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, my fingers broke. It's broke. It's broke. And everybody's laughing, but <laughs> I ended up just uh, I got like x-ray from like every angle and it, it was just it wasn't even fractured so I'm blessed that it's, it's fine the look on your face you run past us when you did the second time and you're running back towards the locker room was priceless I wish I had a picture of it I was standing 10 yeah. feet yeah. Was <laughs> let me ask you let me ask you came up your first game of the rock uh, talk about that was it everything you thought it would be what they told you about man uh, I remember on my visit like walking onto the football field, like at the end, you know, where they take us on the field and they play the video on the, uh, the scoreboard and stuff. It was just like that moment right there, that kind of, it touched me and I was like, man, this is like, this is real. Like, and like, I didn't know what to expect. And then like, I, I knew we, we were coming, we were playing Jackson State. I knew that was going to be like a big game. It was going to be a lot of people. And like that feeling, like when we ran out, it was just like, it sent chills through my like spine. And I was like, oh man, this is, this is real. So like, it was everything I expected. I, I was, it was so exciting, and I, you know, you have a little. I was nervous a little bit. It's my first game, but like once I got in there and I got in the groove with my my brothers, it was just like it was easy, and it, it was everything I expected. I was ready. I was prepared. So, 
Uh, have you taken any time to look at Monroe at all, or is it just kind of just beginning right now? Uh, we, I think we're getting, we'll, we'll probably get into a lot of that today. I know they're gonna, they're gonna be on it a lot, but uh, we know from uh, last year they got like three pretty good receivers that are like four three, four four guys. So we're we're looking at a lot of, uh, it'll probably be a lot of passing, like so we got to get ready, make sure eyes number one, make sure our eyes are always on our keys and stuff like that, and nobody gets behind us. But I know this game it'll be a lot, it'll be a dog fight, but I feel like. Just get the ball is going to be in the air. And we'll, we'll get a lot of take backs from this game. Can you take us back through your journey that got you here through the JUCO ranks? How did you end up at Southern Miss? Well, I, in high school, I uh, I was in, I'm from Maryland, like like 15 minutes away from Baltimore. So my area is really not like a, a heavily recruited area, you know. So I, I ended up going to a junior college in Iowa. Yeah, that's far. That was 18 hours from home. <laughs> And it was cold, <laughs> but I adjusted to there uh, quickly. I was uh, I ended up getting redshirted, which was I was a little frustrated at first because I felt as though like being redshirted, I was just not good enough to play. But I looked at it from another aspect. I got a, a year off to get my body together, to get smarter, mature, and like stronger and learn more. And actually, that that was the best thing like for me. I, I think redshirting and like maturing and growing up. That was the smartest thing I could have ever done. And I ended up, the following year, I ended up a JUCO All-American, like all conference first team and all that type of stuff. And like, I had I had a lot of options to choose from from schools. And Southern Miss was like, I took a visit here. And when I came here and like the coaches and like the atmosphere, the campus, the area, just everything just told me like, this is where I belong and like, like I said in a previous interview, you know, everybody likes to be in these big schools and like power five and stuff like that. Sometimes it's not about like that, it's where you fit in. And I felt like this place with the defense, the coaching style, my brothers that are around me, I fit in perfectly here. So this my, I, I'm blessed to have the opportunity to play here. So did you have no offers out of high school? Uh, I had, man, I had like Marshall. I was talking to schools, Marshall, Syracuse, schools like that. But like I was, I was in high school. I was an offensive guy, and I'm I'm a defensive guy. I love defense. I'm I like to ha tackle. I like to hit people. So it was like it was just like under recruitment. I felt like JUCO was my best, my best um, choice and my best option. And the school like I had like JUCOs all over the country. But I researched into Iowa Western. Their their program, their defense was like something that I felt like I could come in and be a factor. And so I took that opportunity over like a, a lot of schools. And it was just it just all worked out perfectly. So you believe that JUCO really resurrected your career and turned you into what you weren't in high school, but helped you in your future. You think that JUCO without JUCO, you wouldn't be where you are today. Uh, I would say, I feel like without JUCO, I could I'm I feel like I would have found where I would have been, and I would I've been doing good. But I feel like with that that experience with uh, like getting another taste of football on another level before getting to the highest level. It felt like it, like coming here, it just, I was already prepared, you know, coming out of high school to a division one, you might sit out, you might register, you might ne never adjust because you never had the chance to really get in the mix. I, I played running backs from Alabama, uh, Texas A&M. I didn't play, I played guys that are uh, bounce backs from like the best schools in the country. So like, I, I got a taste of all of that, so I'm like, once I get to like the highest level of football, I would know a little more to expect than coming out of high school as like a, a 18 year old boy. Cause I came here at, at the age of 20. So I'm kind of mature, more mature than those guys. So that all worked out perfectly. How does Mississippi compare to Iowa? Well, I, I just want to tell you guys, my first experience with the weather was, man, I came my first day, we uh, we did like a position condition and I had some unarmored uh, football cleats on with chrome bottoms and one of my spikes melted. That's how I was. <laughs> <laughs> and like, my parents, they were sitting in the end zone watching us work out. And then they're like, man, everybody had their shirts off. You the only one with your shirt on. You look like you was dying. I was like, man, I'm gonna have to adjust to this. Cause like Iowa, it gets hot. But like once it hits like mid like um, October, it's you're thirty degrees like it's cold. So it was fall camp. I would say fall camp wasn't as bad as like summer. 
usually it's the other way around, but like the summer, oh man, I think it was just because I, I wasn't used to it. I was dying out there. <laughs> it was so hot. Bro. Oh man. So, so what are you gonna do this week with your first storm? You said first storm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the best. Well, uh, I'm, I'm kind of used to the storms, you know. In Iowa, we it's, it was just like tornadoes everywhere. So I remember one time we uh we were practicing on the field, and you could see like the tornado yeah. from the field. Yeah. Like it was like right near the target sign, like next to our field. So I, I can deal with storms. <laughs> I can deal with storms. That, but the heat, I still I'm still adjusting to that. <laughs> How many years you play up there? You said you redshirted one year. Did you play two? Oh, I I just played one. I redshirted one and played one. So I, I still have three years of eligibility. I was so right say, now, sophomore yeah, eligibility. Red, yeah, yeah, redshirt sophomore. Junior classroom, sophomore football field. You come in here in what June? Uh, yes, I okay. came in. Uh, I think May twenty eighth, last day. Man. But expectations there. I mean, I remember when they announced your signing. Mm -hmm. Was there pressure on you coming in because it was like, okay, you're a college kid, like you said, uh, not that high school experience. Yeah. Was did you feel that pressure at all, or? I would say uh, I felt it a little bit because I knew. With me being a junior, like a junior college guy, they're expecting me to come in and like be ready, contribute and like I didn't yeah like be ready to contribute. Yep, but like I I didn't really get the chance to get into the playbook, like before the guy they did like the whole spring and like January. So I had to I had to learn the stuff fast, and I did a good job. The guys helped me uh learn it as well, but I would say it was I wasn't really nervous I did have pressure I knew like on the field I can I can do what I can do on the field but it was more of like I wanted to be sure and know what I was doing and let like once you, you know once you're like 100% sure of what you're doing you let your athletic like talent take over like right now I'm still adjusting like I, I learned it fast and there's still times I, I got to pick things up but I feel like every week and like every day the coaches and like my teammates are helping me get better and better so like I feel like right now I don't feel any pressure. I was like like I said the uh, first game I was a little nervous. You know it was my first game, sure. but like once I got in the groove and got in, I felt I felt like me. So it's everything's just going well with that. Back at home. Yep. Yep. Back in there. Anything else? Kyle, fantastic.